Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, we're ranking the top 10 NFL players. NFL did a top 100 list and they had a very interesting top 10. I'm gonna put the link down below what their top 10 was, but it's very weird and it's actually not good at all. I'm gonna actually give you the real top 10 players in the NFL. I'm gonna give a couple honorable mentions just in case as well. And there are 12 people here. And if you agree, make sure to say some in the comments. If you disagree, make sure to say some in the comments. More content like this, make sure to like this video. Let's hop right into it. So here we have our, you know, I'm gonna rank this six to 10, one to five honorable mentions. We have 12 players here and many of them were in the top 10, some weren't, but I'm gonna put them in my top 10. So I'm gonna get you with this honorable mention. So basically 12 and 11 at number 12, I'm putting Travis at number 12. Now they put, uh, they put Travis like number nine. He had a really good postseason. He had a very mediocre regular season though. Like people were saying he was washed. You know, he likes that he showed up in the postseason, did his thing. But to me, the others, I I'm taking over Travis Kelsey. So it's not no Taylor Swift hate at all. It's just I think he fell off a little bit and he's probably going to fall off a little more this year. But he got the main character, so he'll probably do pretty good. Uh, Max Crosby, I'm putting at number 11. Max Crosby, I think he was a third round pick. He has definitely shined. I think he had 14 and a half sacks. He's very relentless. He, I think he hasn't missed a game as well. So Max Crosby is definitely a very impactful player for the Raiders. Raiders are a very mid team, to be honest, but he is the best player on that team and he stands out a lot. And he's a guy who is in contention for defensive player of the year. Now, honorable mentions are gone. What is our top 10? I'm doing this in real time as well. I didn't pre-think this. I'm just doing this straight out from my head. So I'm looking at these 10 and I'm going to go and begin. So I'm going to start with CeeDee Lamb, number 10. Uh, CeeDee Lamb, he had a really good season. Very impressive. Um, probably even the best in a statistical standpoint, the best Cowboy season of all time. Um, and honestly, he has a, you know, he's definitely a top five receiver and he has even a, a case to be a top three. I think Jefferson and Hill is better. I don't have Jefferson here right now because Jefferson is injured. And definitely for this list, we're going to account for what they did last year going into this year. Um, but for the fact that CD has such a great season, I'm not going to discount him. I'm going to put him at number 10. Number nine, man, there's a lot of great players here. That's very hard to even dictate. I'm put TJ. I put TJ number nine. The Steelers, he, I think he led the league in sacks. He didn't win defensive player of the year, but he's in contention for that every year. JJ Watt, little brother, that, that Watt jeans really run, run deep with his pass rush and stuff. So the fact that he has a case to be a Hall of Famer as well, as his older brother is definitely a Hall of Famer, that's just amazing. That's outstanding and good for him. Um, he's one of the best honest Steelers defensive players of all time, in my opinion. And yeah, he's number nine. And if he won DPOY, he'd probably be much higher, but like he did not win DPOY. So I'm not going to put you higher than that. I'm putting, um, I'm going to rearrange this. I'm putting Micah Parsons here. I'm putting Micah Parsons number nine. I'm actually gonna put CD Lamb. Actually, I'm gonna put Micah Parsons number 10. We're gonna rearrange everything right now. I'm gonna rearrange that. I think Micah, because I was gonna put him at higher, but I'm gonna put him at 10. He's one of those players that really stands out on the screen. Very impactful player for that team. And he has honestly the potential to be a Hall of Fame player. Um, I'm gonna put him at number 10. I'm putting CD at number nine because CD had such an outstanding season. And I'm gonna put TJ number eight because of that pass rushing was so special. So I'm gonna put this, this is gonna be my 10, my nine and my eight. For seven, I'm putting Trent Williams at number seven. Trent Williams is the best left tackle in the league. And he is definitely one of those guys that has, he's definitely a hall of famer. And he's older too. He's 36. He's not a young guy. So it's amazing how he's able to do that. And he led the line that made Christian McCaffrey had one of the best seasons for a running back of all time. So, you know, he's definitely a guy that in the last five or 10 years, he's the best left tackle, probably best left tackle since Joe Thomas. So he going to be right there where he belong. After that, I'm, I'm going to put Chris Jones right above him and they don't be edited. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. There you go. I'm putting Chris Jones. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Chris Jones is very impactful. He's a very like he had a good regular season. And in the postseason, it's it's like he 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 a clutch pass rusher. That's one thing about Chris Jones. He's a very clutch pass rusher. Because every time like a big moment, like a big sack needs to happen, the Chiefs defense needs to make a stop, he is always there to make that stop. He's always there. He's always there to you know impact get into the backfield and make, you know, forced, you know, rush throws or just get sacks. Like he is a very clutch and he is a big part of that dynasty. I honestly think Chris Jones wasn't on that team. They might just have one ring. Like he is that impactful in terms of just being just very timely pass rushing 
and you know he's a very impactful player so i'm putting him right there he's very impressive player he's not going to get a lot of the love like he's not a main character like mahomes and kelsey everyone knows them but he is very very good so that's gonna be 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 putting that number five putting miles garrett miles garrett won defensive player of the year so he has to be the highest defensive player on here for sure definitely you know, just a great impact player. I hope Cleveland Browns have, you know, top two or top one defense. I don't know. I, thought, I forgot what they ranked, but they had a great defense due to him. Obviously other factors, but he's, you know, the best player on that defense. I'm not going to put him higher than five because he did when he when the, in that uh, playoff game against Laramie Tunsil. Laramie did shut that down. But Miles Garrett is a very impactful pass rusher, and he is the defense player of the year, and he deserved it. So put him at number five. Number four, man, I'm putting Tyreek Hill number four. They put him number one on the list originally, which is crazy because he didn't even hit the, they put him as the best player in the league, but he didn't even hit the 2,000 yard mark. Like if he hit 2,000 yards, then I could say, yeah, but he didn't. Tyreek Hill is the scariest player though, because you don't want to get past, like he, if he gets past you, he's cooked. Like his speed is outstanding. He don't get 80 yard touchdowns, 60 yard touchdowns. He is, an, he's a, he is one of those, he is a hall of fame talent because of that speed even without Mahomes, you know he has it's not like he's a Mahomes merchant he left Mahomes, he with Tua and he's still killing it like how he killing it so Tyreek Hill he's not number one but I'm putting him at number number was that yeah four number three I'm gonna put we'll put let me get this out of my way let's put you know man that's a good one. I'm putting Lamar number three we'll put Lamar number three I was gonna put him number two but then he had that bad he had that bad afc championship game lamar jackson should have been in the super bowl and won the whole thing like his team and his season was good enough for that to have happened the fact that that didn't happen is tough but he still had an mvp season he didn't have like his stats when you look at him they're not like oh my gosh that's so crazy like he didn't have like mind-blowing stats like he had his first mvp season but it was still a very impactful season and he made the afc championship one league mvp so i gotta put you at number three um, number two, Christian McCaffrey. He had over 20 touchdowns. I forgot it was like 25. I forgot how many touchdowns specifically, but he had uh he was scoring and he had a streak of scoring every single game. He led the league in rushing yards, he led the league in touchdowns. He had a case for MVP, a wonderful case, honestly. Like he literally could have been second place. He might have been third place, I think, but he he had a case to be MVP, really good one. So you know, and he team was in the Super Bowl and he was a humongous part of that, right? So Christian McCaffrey balled out crazy this year. And for what he did, I think he should be the second best player just for the fact that it just never stopped, you know? So I'm going to give him that. And number one, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. I know, you know, quarterbacks, they don't like to give it to quarterbacks. He's the best NFL player. Just period. He is. Main character. You think he's not going to be number one? He's the main character. He's the best. It's just like a lot of times it's just pure talent or his plot, but it's just he's the best. Like the road he took to win to go to the Super Bowl was crazy. It was so hard. The fact that he he faced the Dolphins, a good Dolphins team, a really good Bills team and a great Ravens team and a great 49ers team and beat all of them. That is not a Mickey Mouse road. At all. That's one of the hardest roads in the history of football. And he did it. And he had no receivers. Like his receivers weren't like proven guys. They were a bunch of like it was Kelsey and a bunch of unproven players. And they didn't play. They played well in the postseason, but they weren't like, man, Patrick Mahomes. I don't know what the, the NFL players are just being petty. Patrick Mahomes is definitely the best player in the NFL. And if he keeps up a streak or if they go on a three peat, he has a great, great argument to being the greatest NFL player of all time because this is insane. His run is insane. So we're putting Patrick Mahomes number one. So this is my top 10 NFL players going into the next year. Obviously, people like Justin Jefferson and um, other, you know, other guys, Joe Burrow, other guys who got injured last year can definitely make their case if they have a good season. Like they're obviously, I think they're probably the top 10 players. It's just they got injured. So I'm going off of that. But Micah Parsons, 10, CeeDee Lamb, 9, um, TJ Watt. Trent Williams, Chris Jones, Miles Garrett, Tyreek Hill, Lamar Jackson, Christian McCaffrey, Patrick Mahomes. These are my top 10. I don't know about Max Crosby and Travis Kelsey. If you don't agree with my top 10, comment down below. Tell me why I'm wrong. If you agree with my top 10, comment down below. Tell me why I'm right. And tell me your top 10 as well. But for more content like this, make sure to like this video and also watch this video where I'm doing a tier ranking of all of the NFL teams and how they're going to play next year. I think it's a really fun video. So go and check that out and catch you guys on the next video. And I am out of here. Peace.